Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. And today's video will be really exciting, I can promise you. It's because of I found a really nice and great mobile testing tool for automation that will save every mobile development team a lot of time and a lot of money. So, what is this video all about? I, as I said already, it's about mobile testing and mobile test automation isn't easy. For those of you who are working in mobile test automation know that there are like lots of challenges to tackle when it comes to testing on a mobile device. There are the different devices out there with different form factors, different hardware software combinations, but also the different sensors and the hardware that poses lots of challenges to mobile development teams and in particular mobile testers. And a couple of weeks ago, I attended the uh, Mobile DevOps Summit in November and uh, I attended a really nice talk um, from, uh, I have to check the name, um, from Eden Fulgo. Uh, she is the founder and CEO of Mobot. And, and Mobot is a, a service or a product, if you would like to say so, um, that is able to automate your mobile app with real robots. And I was hooked when I saw the video, I saw the talk actually, and, and I asked her some questions like, hey, how do you handle these and that challenges? And I found it really impressive how easy it is to use this robot in terms of testing different devices, different connectivities, and so forth and so forth. Because with the service, you can actually automate really hard challenges that are almost impossible to automate when you think about mobile applications. So for example, if you have an app that relies on push notifications, it's really hard to leave the app context, right? So if you would like to tap on the, on the push notification when it comes in, it's almost impossible to automate. There are some workarounds that you can do and um, some, 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 let's say, dirty hacks that, that the mobile team can do, but it takes a lot of effort and a lot of maintenance to do so in order to leave the app context and to automate maybe also the settings. If you would like to change the device setting to see how the app is reacting and so forth and so forth. And with Mobot, that's totally easy and super simple to do. And in this video, I would like to present you the tool, what the tool is all about, what the tool offers in terms of features, how it works, and I also have some really, really nice videos for you where you can see the robots in action. So let's take a look, first of all, on the website of the mobile team. Let's take a look. So as you can see here, um, they have a big claim on their website saying, robot power mobile experience testing. That's really cool, right? So it says that Mobot, Mobots, how they call their robots, um, are automating mobile apps that are impossible for emulators or virtual devices. And if you would like to know more on what are the really tough challenges when it comes to test automation on mobile devices, take a look at my blog Adventures in QA in the next days because after I talked to the Mobot team, I had an idea on how to how to describe the hard challenges and, and, and I would like to share this information with you. So this is not part of the video, not part, not, not completely, but I covered it more in depth in the blog article that you will find on my blog later in the days uh, or the week. So, and with Mobot, it's really easy to test on real devices and to really tackle the hard challenges. And we will see some of them in this video. But let's, let's scroll, scroll down a bit. I think you see some animation there and you see a, a robot in action actually, you see? Um, they have like a, a device rack. Oh, now the video just ended. And they have like real devices connected. And then they have a camera on top and a, 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 a physical finger that is simulating the user input. And this is really cool because it acts really as a user on the real device, on the real app. And also the best thing about it, I would say, is that you can re-execute the tests all over again and the robot is doing exactly what you told the robot to do. Like automation, but automation is usually, uh, like mobile test automation is usually done with, with the tools that are on the market, but it's, it's more like a, in a simulated environment, even though you do it on a real device. And with mobot, you can do like really end-to-end -end testing also from a, from a, from a user's perspective, even though the user is, is a robot, yeah? And as you can see in the video here, you can send test text messages between messaging apps. Uh, but, but I have some more examples for you later. 
So let's scroll down a bit. So what else? So they have trusted customers. Um, yeah, they also say like Mobot is the only complete testing solution for mobile apps. Yeah, and what we have in mind is that it has mobile is becoming increasingly complex. As I said, mobile devices have um, lots of sensors packed in there, like acceleration, um, rotation sensors, and so forth and so forth. And all these sensors can have a huge impact on your mobile app that you are developing or that you are testing. And with Mobot, you have the possibility to test really end-to-end -end from, an, from an end user perspective and also with a signed app that is uh, signed with a distribution interface um, certificate, I mean, for example. So yeah, so that's the real cool, cool part of it. Another cool part is, I, it's getting just better, is that you don't need to code uh, in order to use Mobot. We come to that in, in a second uh, when I show you how Mobot is working from a feature perspective and how you can use the service basically. Yeah, so that, that's the really cool thing. Um, yeah, and as I already said, it uses mechanical robots to test the, uh, the app under test and you can repeat the execution and in the end you also get a really nice um, log report and um, status on, on the results that, that have been implemented for you. Yeah and you can choose between more than 200 physical devices that are currently available uh, in the Mobot um, team, team um, let's say data center, where they can select the devices that you would like to have in order to test your app against it. So without any further ado, uh, let's take a look on, on the product tab here. So why Mobot? We just have talked about it. So how does it work? So how does Mobot as a service, uh, service work for you? So as I said in, in the previous screen, you don't have to implement the tests on your own. That sounds weird, right? Because how, how is the Mobot or the robot able then to, uh, to, to execute your tests? Well, you, this is done by the Mobot team. That's the cool part. So you don't need to have coding skills. The only thing that you have to do is to record a video of your app and the scenarios that you would like to cover. So you can use any, any system app that is, is able to record the screen. On iOS, you have, you have the system app to record your screen or on Android, you can use uh, third-party tools or with ADB, you can also um, record the screen. So you make a video of the scenarios, of the workflow that you would like to have uh, to automate. And to be honest, taking a video just takes a few seconds and it's done, right? So you, all your testing, basically all your testing activities are done. What you have to do though is you have to describe what you would like to have to be tested like what should be the data input and where the robot should tap to and these kind of things but if you say okay this is the stuff that i recorded in the video that should repeat it on hundreds of devices that's the easy job and the, the the part of the um the mobile team so step one is you have to record the video and then, of course, send it uh, to the cust uh, to the mobile team. And there's like a, a bunch of mobile um, mobile mobile engineers that are going to uh, implement the tests for you on the mobile system. That's great, right? So they can implement exactly the tabs that you told the team to do, and that they can repeat on a regular basis, on a daily basis, whenever you would like to have it executed on the real devices. And this is really easy, right? So step two is upload everything to the mobot team. Then, as I said, the mobot converts it to a test plan. That is also done to, um, by, the, by the mobot team. So they will take care of the test plan. They will set up everything for you. And then if everything is up and running, you can, yeah, just execute everything that they have done on on the robot on the robots so you could you tell them like how often they should test it you can send them new um, app files that they should install on the devices and then they can execute the tests according to your needs and the cool thing is then once the test execution has been uh, or is done um, you get data logs, you get a, a crash report, you get reports of the results, you can get um, the recordings, everything that has been covered or like uh, recorded during that session, you, you, can, uh, you can take a look at. So you can really see, okay, is this really a bug? Or in case it, it's a bug, you have videos and logs that you can use in order to, to reproduce this, this behavior on your own devices within the mobile team and, and also within the testing team, for example. Yeah? So that, that's the easy part. Yeah? The, the fifth step, this is also really important, is uh, you can view side-by-side -side test reports in the, mobile, um, in the mobile platform. So you can compare the baseline 
with the test results and that's also great so you can really see is the the the, um, the the results that you have seen is it really true or is it a flaky test or so forth and so forth and so forth and that's the cool part as well um, yeah this last part as i said already um, the mobile team will then send your report with all the execution results and you can just verify everything get a bug fix up and running send it to the mobile team again they can rerun the test on the particular device that was crashing or that was exposing the issue and you can you can you, you can ship with more confidence i would say and this is really cool because um yeah, you save a lot of time in, 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 in doing other activities like developing other features or um, focusing more time on, on, on the testing stuff that you can do internally. But um, you, you outsource basically the hard challenges when it comes to mobile testing. And this is, I think, really, really helpful because it saves you a lot and lot of time Yeah, in order to invest yeah, as I said, invest in workarounds, invest in in, in hacky in, in dirty hacks in order to get, for example, push notifications automated or something like that. Yeah. And as I said in the beginning, I promised you some some example videos, and this is something that we are going to take a look at now. Um, so the first example that I um, that I will show you now is um, a mobot handling a two-factor authentication. So let's take a look. So as you can see. Um, the mobot is activating the, the app. There is the push notification coming in. The bot is copying the, the ID that it has to enter. It pasted it in and says continue. There we go, we are locked in. And that was pretty amazing and pretty fast. So you can finally leave the app context um, of your uh, system under test or application to access the verification code from an, from a, from a system, on a system level, basically. Yeah? Um, so there's another example that I brought uh, for you. Uh, it's uh, again a deep linking, leaving app context. So in this case, we got an email from Apple that we have an appointment. Uh, the Genius Bar, so we tap on the Add to Apple Wallet. It, the Apple Wallet opens, we can tap on Add, and then it was added to the Apple Wallet. Yeah. So, and we can even either do um, go back and say, okay, we would like to manage our reservation or our time bookings and so forth. And this is an example how deep linking is working. So we can come from, from, the, from the email client to a web browser to a, another app. So we can really automate a user flow, a user journey, how your final user will, will use your product. And to be honest, if you would like to automate these kind of things, you will, you will end up in a maintenance nightmare. And also in terms of, of money and, 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 yeah, and time that you have to invest. And last but not least, which is my, my personal favorite, looking at the robots, because it is the, is the example of using the mobots to test your application with a connected device, so with another other smart device. And in this example, you can see here, we have uh, the um, music app running, so the podcast app, on the top right corner, you see the, um, the Apple Watch, where uh, the mobot is doing, is changing the, the settings, um, on, on the big screen and it, it directly shows the results also on the on the Apple Watch. So with a mobot, you are also able to test your Apple Watch, for example, or your watch extensions on other platforms like Android in order to see if everything works as expected and as planned. That's great, right? Yeah. So these were three examples for you to, sh to, uh, to show you how, how things are working. And what else do we have um, in, in, the, in, the, in the outcome? So how it works, we talked about. Let's take a look, quick look on the outcome. So with Mobot, you get the results, uh, as I said, in order to um, improve the app quality, right? So you get results early on, whenever an execution has been done, you get the results, you can increase your test coverage, you can extend your test, um, your test coverage with, let's say you have in-house uh, implementation with, with a mobile framework that covers the unit level or integration API level, but the hard challenges, as we have seen just in the videos, will be covered with Mobot. And that's a perfect extension um, to, to get like the full customer experience and to ship a better app for your customers. And I think that's just, just great. As you see, I'm, I'm, I'm really hooked using mobile and uh, I would 
in, in one of my next videos, a little spoiler, uh, I am I'm talk, currently talking with the Mobot team to, to take another look on, on the other side. So I just showed you some videos from Mobot, how it works. But I would also like to see how the team is actually um, developing the scripts for the robots. And this is something that I would like to do in an upcoming video in the next week or month. Uh, I don't know yet when it will be, uh, will be online, but this is something that I would also like to cover uh, in, in this session for you to give you a complete picture on the system as well. Yeah, and with Mobot, of course, you can release your products faster and so forth and so forth. So that's that's really cool. It, and I mentioned it a couple of times is you can really reduce your costs, right? So you don't have to spend time on selecting the, the different devices. Maybe you have a special configuration and especially the, the, the hard challenges that I mentioned now a couple of times and we have seen in the videos is leaving app context and you have to rely on two-factor authentication or you have to rely on push notifications. This is for me the way to go because it's complete end-to-end -end perspective without any hex workarounds in between or simulating things that a user will not do because nobody will use an emulator simulator later on um, with with your final product right and uh, that's really cool i have to say yeah and so if you're curious um, make sure to follow the the video description um, because I, I add the link from from Mobot from the service here I will also um, link the, the blog articles that the Mobot team has written and also FAQ to get some more information for you if you're interested in the service at all um, if you are interested in getting more information on how the service could look like for your app for your mobile development team I recommend you to book a demo yeah let them know hey I've seen the video on YouTube and I'm, I'm so hooked and I'm so interested in in, in this demo uh, let let's talk I really great people working there they're open-minded and um, they, they really have the, the passion to bring better apps out there for our users and I can only recommend it to you to take a look yeah so it's a really cool product and I'm looking forward to to, to get more insights on, on mobile uh, mobot how it works um, on on the other side basically and also to to ask the question if um, yeah we can do some more more things for the community maybe so let's see stay tuned stay hooked um, i will not spoil too many things and with that i would say thank you very much for your time thanks for being um, uh, with me today tonight this morning whenever you're watching the video if you like the content leave me a like a thumbs up i really appreciate it if you like my my overall content leave a subscription to not miss out upcoming videos about mobot or any other uh, things that i'm going to talk on software testing and with that i'd say thank you and goodbye <laughs>